Susu, hi! And today I'm going to do a video about how to dye fake fur with acrylic paint. And I'm also gonna do some tests to see if it will stain and if you can wash it. So if you want to see just a test, then go and see the timestamp down below in the description box because I'll put them there. And if you're ready, then let's go and see what to do. Also, if you want a more detailed version of this tutorial and if you want to know how to do an ombre effect, then don't forget to watch my other video. I put the link in the description box down below. And there's also a link to it in the upper part of this screen. So what you'll need for this tutorial is your pattern, fabric scissors, paint, water, something to put the paint and water in, like a box or a bowl, and a painting brush, a sponge, a comb, and a hairdryer. Start by cutting your fabric in your desired shape. I'm just using a leftover piece. To make the fluff explosion less when you cut fake fur, gently pull the hairs on the sides that you've cut. Actually, I think cutting the fabric with a knife, like an exacto knife, is way better, especially if you turn the fur over. Because if you very gently cut it like that, then you will cut less hairs, in my experience. Next, use your desired paint and mix it with the water. Keep in mind that more water will make the color lighter. Then apply the paint with a sponge. My sponge is pretty small but it's because I cut it up and I didn't have a new one. But you can definitely use a bigger one if you want to or if you want to have a smaller one like me that's fine as well. Once you've applied the paint everywhere, use the comb to open up the hair so you can dye the roots. Use the hair dryer on medium setting to fasten up the drying process. To keep the hair soft so that they will not lump together, brush in between drying. If you don't brush, the hairs will stick together and become very hard. And it will be almost impossible to comb them out and have separate hairs. I do recommend leaving it to dry overnight because the hairs will dry really fast but the fabric underneath won't and wet fabric is very hard to sew so just leave it to dry completely while you're sleeping. So 
as you can see the fur will not stain light fabrics when it's dry. When you wash the fur in cold water without soap, it seems that it will lose some color as you can see in the water, but the fur itself seems pretty vibrant still in color. It seems that the fur will stain light fabrics when it's wet, but not a lot. So I just washed the fur in cold water but this time with soap and it seems that the fur did lose some color more than washing it without soap but the fur is not going back to white. I washed the fur in warm water with soap and it seems that it lost a lot of color. Uh, the water is pretty pink and you can see some very, some very light pink spots. It doesn't go back to white but it seems that the color faded quite a bit. Here they are all together, so I have the one that is washed in warm water with soap, the fur that I didn't wash and then the fur that I washed in cold water with soap and as you can see the warm water is faded a lot more so I would suggest to not wash the fur with soap. I think it would be okay if you wash it with just water to make it maybe smell a bit more fresh but I would not recommend washing it with soap unless you want it to go lighter or if you're prepared to apply another layer of color on top. So that was the video, I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos or if you want to support me to make more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe, it would help me so much and I wish you all a really really good weekend and a happy Valentine's Day of course. Okay, bye bye and keep sparkling.